Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing my January favourites. I honestly love when people put out their January favourites because a lot of the time it is favourites that they have either been given for Christmas or favourites that, you know, they've just bought themselves over like the Christmas period. A lot of my January favourites are actually all, pretty much all, no not even pretty much, they are all bits that I got for Christmas or bits that um, I ended up buying from gift cards. Before we start, I just want to say thank you so, 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 so much for 600 subscribers. My goal for last year was 500 and within literally the month of January we've hit 600 subscribers so thank you so much for that I don't think you even realize how much it means to me I feel like this year is going to be the year for me especially on YouTube it just I have so many content ideas but yeah I just want to say a massive thank you to anyone who has subscribed and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe make sure that notification bell is turned on and please like this video and if there's any videos you would like to see from me in the future then leave them down below so guys if you want to see what is on my January favorites then please keep watching so we're gonna start off with what I'm actually wearing and that is a Sisters and Seekers tracksuit So I've been wanting a Sisters and Seekers tracksuit for I'd say easily like well over a year now and as we all know they are very very expensive it's like 50 euro for a top 50 euro for a bottom and then the price that you pay for shipping is absolutely extortionate like I will be the first to say it is extortionate but I do think they're worth it. Since having now two full tracksuits, I definitely think they're worth it. So I currently have the gear tracksuit in road on. So basically what it is, is just, it's a plain back tracksuit. If you see any dog hairs, I'm so sorry, but it just has the Susan Seekers logo and then the trousers, obviously I'm pregnant now, so um, ignore the kind of like a bigger belly, but the trousers, it just look like this. They've got a tie waist and they're cuffed. Uh, the bottom. So I have this tracksuit and I also have the yoga tracksuit which if you haven't seen it's just the yoga hoodie and the tracksuit bottoms in the shade passive. If you're wondering what size I get I get a medium in the jumpers and a small in the tracksuit bottoms. The only thing I will say is is and this might just be personally for me the tracksuit bottoms at the bottom the cuffs are a little bit big. I have a size small and maybe I just have really small ankles I don't know. I don't think I do I think of normal size ankles but the size small at the bottom is still quite big so I have to roll my tracksuit bottoms but if I were to get the extra small I feel like they'd be too tight everywhere else so I think the small is perfect for me if anyone's wondering on a normal day when I'm not pregnant I'm like a size 8 so a medium on top is like the perfect oversized fit this is one is actually a small sorry I forgot to say this black one is a small but my grey one's the medium and I actually think I prefer the medium size but the bottoms are all in a size small. But yeah, these are my first January favourites. They're such a heavy weight material. They're really, really thick. And that's what I love. Like, I love when a hoodie is, like, super thick and the hood stays up. But I genuinely feel like I'm going to be purchasing so many more Sisters and Seekers tracksuits this year. Because even though they're expensive, I feel like they're so worth the quality. But as I said, the shipping is extortionate. It's, like, 50 quid for shipping as well. So I would say either do one big order so that you're not paying multiple shipping. Um, costs or I would say maybe just buy one tracksuit for now see how you get on and yeah but make sure you read reviews on tracksuits because some people say some tracksuits fit bigger and others fit smaller so just keep an eye on that okay so the next thing I'm going to show you is just two makeup items that I've been loving in January I have bought a lot of new makeup as you guys would have seen and I've also been gifted a lot of new makeup um, from people over my, like Christmas and my birthday however I'm still trialing a lot of products and I don't want to show you any products that I'm not like 100% on and that I haven't really given a fair shot so the ones that I definitely have tried and tested and that I've been like obsessed with are the these are the pink honey BFF bronzing face frosting so I have two I've got one in the shade Milky Mocha and the other in the shade Fudge Glaze. So I use Milky Mocha for when I am pale. As you can see, it's kind of like a cooler toned bronzer. And then the other one is in the shade Fudge Glaze, which is kind of like a warmy, still kind of neutrally toned bronzer. I've been wanting to try these for ages. People say they're so blendable and that they've got such good pigment, but they're still easy to work with. And I definitely agree. These have been my new favorite cream bronzers. And I feel like I've not found like my perfect cream bronzer until I met these. I really really like these and I really really like the shades you can go overboard slightly with them you just kind of have to go like 
kind of one dab at a time but because of that I feel like these are gonna last so long so yeah if you're looking for a new bronzer um, especially a cream bronzer I really recommend these I know they're in a little bit of controversy at the moment but I'm not here to talk about that I'm here to talk about makeup so yeah I've been loving these and they're gonna last me forever so I'm really happy I picked these up because both my pale shade and my tan shade is perfect and then the other makeup product you might actually be surprised at because I feel like I said it in my best of beauty or like even just all of last year I have been hating highlighter like I am not a highlighter gal at all like I've gone off it, I'm over it. The only ones that I keep in my collection are MAC Soft and Gentle because I think that's just a beautiful like sheen or my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Amrezy highlighter just because that is my favorite highlighter of all time and I will not get rid of it. But this, and I have to thank Nicole for this because if Nicole hadn't got me it, I don't think I would have purchased it myself because like I said, I'm not a highlighter person. But this, this has been, guys, you need this. This is the Refi Gloss Highlighter in the shade Topaz. Now, I don't think there's any other shades of this. If there is, please leave it down below. Um, but I cannot explain what this is. Obviously, it's a liquid highlighter. As you can see, like it's in a squeezy tube. It's a liquid highlighter. I will say I can only use it when I am tanned because the shade Topaz is quite a dark shade. Now, this is literally like as if I don't know how to explain it. It just, it makes your face wet, but still glowy at the same time. It makes it look like you've got the healthiest sheen and with no glitter though. I don't know how to explain it. Do you know what? I'm gonna do a little swatchy swatch for you. So you only need the tiniest amount, which again is what I love. So it means you're not repurchasing it. So this is the color. Start blending it in and look at that. See what I mean by it just gives such a nice wet look to the skin and like, that tiny little dot that I did will do my cheek, my nose, and I'll probably get away with collarbones as well. So you only need the smallest amount for this highlighter and it goes such a long way. So if you aren't into highlighters, if highlighters aren't for you, but you like that dewy wet look without the use of highlighters, please just give this a go because it is amazing. And now I suddenly want her body highlighter because if it looks like this, chef's kiss okay moving on to skincare i got a lot of skincare for christmas and when i tell you i am not mad at it i have found probably my new staple every single day skincare routine and it's all thanks to these products i'm not joking you my skin has never looked better my skin hasn't had a reaction in i don't like in the longest time because of these and I genuinely am shocked at how well my skin has been obsessing over these. So I'll just go in basically like order of what I would do. So we'll start off with sheet masks. I am such a face mask girl and usually I'm like them pot mask people where you apply it on then you wash it off. But Nicole for Christmas got me some Garnier sheet mask and I do love Garnier sheet masks, I always have. But again, they're not really something I buy because they're still like four euro and like if you're to use one once a week, like four, like you're gonna spend too much euro a year on face masks. But I had a reaction to some skincare products just after Christmas and not any of these thankfully and my skin was just super dry no matter how much i moisturized it it really really was just dry and flaky and then i realized nicole has got me a face mask so i might as well try it and it was the garnier pomegranate you know the blue face mask i'll pop up a picture here and when i tell you that just instantly cured my skin i could not believe the amount of moisture it gave to my skin it didn't irritate my skin like and i'm so careful with brands like garnier l'oreal everything like that because the products that they usually like produce have a lot of perfumes in it which could ir irritate your skin more and this didn't so i was so shocked so i'm back on the with the garnier face mask hype and these two are also some of my favorites so i always go for the hydrating ones just because like i said my skin is super dry so this is the garnier skin active moisture balm sheet mask it's the super hydrating and rebalancing one with hyaluronic acid and green tea again it's just a hydrating one that's what i tend to go for and then this one i've been saving this is a moisture balm sheet mask night it's super hydrating and skin barrier strengthening it has hyaluronic acid, deep sea water, and cornflower, and it's for tired and sensitive skin. So this is the one that I feel like I'm gonna use when my skin basically is having a meltdown. I'm gonna keep this one because it's gonna be, I just know it's gonna be super hydrating. And I recently learned, I was watching a TikTok on a girl and her mum. So there's a girl and a mum and they're both Korean. And 
the mum's skin is beautiful it's so hydrating it's so glowy and she basically was doing a video with her mum about all the tips and tricks that her mum uses for skincare and i basically took a lot of it and have started applying it to my routine and she said with face masks especially sheet ones don't let them dry down fully because you want your skin to stay hydrated for the, the most amount of time possible. So I've taken that on board and now I take off my face mask just before I feel like it's gonna dry out, squeeze the excess into my hands and then let whatever's on my face dry and then pat the excess serum that's been on this into my skin onto my neck and like all over like my chest and stuff like that. And I just feel like it's helped so much and then my skin does really feel like it's getting the benefits and the qualities in the mask, so yeah little rant but i really really like these and they're really really good to just implement into your skincare routine maybe once a week or once every two weeks because yeah i've just been finding that they've just been doing wonders for my skin and the next product that has been again doing wonders for my skin is the coaster x advanced snail 96 mucin power essence now i know this went viral on tiktok last year and i kind of only literally gotten the hype towards the end of the year this has again it's been one of those products that has just been unreal for my skin my skin has been lapping it up i did see somewhere that it is better to work with it when your skin's slightly damp so what i've been doing is i've been washing my face leaving my skin slightly damp and only kind of getting off like the water droplets off my skin and then using two pumps of this and pressing this into my skin and my neck because it literally says that this essence helps the skin to lose less moisture while keeping the skin smooth and healthy and obviously it can't keep the moisture in if there's no moisture there to begin with and I, it all kind of made sense when I heard this tip so yeah I have been loving this I've had it since Christmas so I've had it a month now and I've gotten that much out of it so I feel like it'll last me about three months before I need to repurchase it but I've been absolutely loving this and I really recommend it I know some people have had reactions to this but for someone with the most sensitive skin in the world personally um I haven't had a reaction and it has been a staple in my skincare routine I just avoid my eye area because my eyes are super sensitive but I feel like you would anyways but it's serum but yeah i really recommend this and if anyone's been wanting to try it but been worried about any reviews just give it a go because it's been chef's kiss. and the last thing that i genuinely feel like have has been missing from my routine for ever now this i feel like has been what's making my skin super glowy that's been retaining the moisture the most and just been really that like lasting factor to keeping my skin hydrating overnight because a lot of the time when i was doing my skincare routine my skincare would like soak in really quickly because my skin was so dry and i'd wake up the next day and my skin was feeling tight and irritated but since using this i i don't know why i ever stopped using this because i did have this years ago and now that's back in my life, I'm just, it's gonna be a repurchase. It's expensive, but it's worth it. It's the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. It's a 24 hour daily lightweight hydrating formula for healthy looking skin with glacial glycoprotein. This is it here. So essentially what it does is it just locks in like the snail mucin, it locks in all the moisture and it just makes your skin feel so hydrated. It's a lightweight formula. It's super lightweight, like it's very, very, kind of watery which usually i'm more into a thicker moisturizer just to kind of help my skin feel like it's actually being hydrated but this is a more of a lightweight formula and it just it soaks into my skin beautifully it works with all the products that i've just mentioned even like better it's just it's one of those products that i now feel like my skin if i were to stop using this would go back to the way it was it's just such a good product it has so many good ingredients in it and yeah it just it's it's amazing it's amazing if you have dry skin i really recommend this it will definitely sort your skin out and it'll keep your skin feeling moisturized which is what we want okay on to the last two products the next product that i'm going to show you is a hair care product now i'm very particular with hair care especially because i don't dye my hair i don't do anything drastic to my hair the most amount of damage that my hair gets is heat so when i'm trying a new product i'm so skeptical because a lot of the time the people that suggest a product or a lot of the time the people that recommend a product is because they've bleached hair or because they've dyed hair so their hair is kind of like damaged from that but this 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 is a product i did not know I needed in my life until I've got it. So as I've said before, my skin is super dry, including my scalp. And I find a lot of the time when I'm using a lot of moisturizing products, they build up on my hair and it causes it to be even more itchy and flaky. And I didn't realize 
that there could have been a massive build up of like shampoos, conditioners, hair masks, serums, um, hair oils, like different products that I've been using. Then this came into my life and my hair has never been cleaner. It's never been more like it's free. It's just been so good. So this is the Way Detox Shampoo. Again, it's a product that has gone viral on TikTok, but it's gone viral for a very, very good reason. Like a very, very good reason. This has saved my hair and saved my scalp more so from all the damage I didn't realize it was doing when I was just leaving all products to build up. It basically, it strips your hair of all the products that you've been using, as I've said a million times at this point, and it just makes sure that your hair is clean. So I do a double cleanse with this. I don't know if you're meant to, but I do a double cleanse with this and I do it once a week or once every second week depending on how often I wash my hair because I only tend to wash my hair once a week but say if I wash my hair twice a week the other shampoo that I use will just be like a normal hydrating one because this obviously is stripping your hair so you don't want to be using it too often so if you wash your hair every day or every second day use this once a week if you wash your hair like me once a week use it every second week or every third week but it is just really good to make sure that you know say you're using a lot of hairspray or there's certain days that you've been you know tying your hair back sleeking it back and a lot of products has gone into it it's just good to give your hair a good cleanse and also your scalp will thank you as well because if you itchy flaky scalp it could be because of all the product buildup and not because your skin is dry so i highly recommend this just to give it a go and um, this is a small i think this is a is a mini or maybe this is a full size i'm not too sure i haven't actually seen it in person other than when i got it but i've been loving this and i really recommend it to anyone who has any hair type whether it's bleached non-bleached like short long curly non-curly like I really recommend this. And then the last product that I have to show you is a perfume and this one has re-entered my collection. This is the Black Opium by YSL but this is the intense version. So I am that basic bitch and I will happily say it that Black Opium is probably my favourite perfume to ever exist. I'm not joking you, that perfume and me, we, we are in a relationship. This is the third wheel in myself and Joseph's relationship. I have never loved a perfume as much in my life and gone back to it. It's such a beautiful scent and it's probably the only perfume that I've ever gotten a compliment on. Which is weird because usually I'm complimenting people left, right and center. This is the only perfume I wear. Maybe it's my pH. Maybe I just smell 90% of the time. So when they get one whiff of this, they're like, that is good. But it is amazing original black opium but this is black opium intense nicole got me this for christmas she said she didn't even realize she got me the intense one she didn't even know there was an intense one but this is literally black opium on crack like it is literally black opium on crack it is unbelievable i love it so much i love normal black opium and i used to be a black opium floral absolute like i i could sell that perfume to anybody anytime i wore it anytime people wanted a recommendation of perfume i would always say black opium flora but they don't make it anymore it doesn't exist which makes me so sad because it literally if i was to put them in order it'd be black opium flora black opium black opium intense but they're all that good black opium flora she was another level she was another level of amazingness and she is no longer here today unfortunately but black opium intense insane i actually feel like it lasts longer than black opium maybe it's the intense notes i don't know what makes it intense so i just think there must be a lot more fragrance in it than say water like a lot more parfum but it, i always find then it means that i don't have to use as much so it's gonna last me a long while and she got me the big bottle but guys i've been loving this if you like black opium please try black opium intense if you've never tried black opium in general the coffee notes the coffee notes the notes of the perfume are coffee um I'm trying to think like coffee, really like sweet. It's a very sweet scent. So if you're into that, I'd highly recommend it. She's amazing. But guys, that is the end of today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching my January favorites. And let me know what your January favorites are down below. But yeah, guys, like I said, thank you so much again for 600 subscribers. You've no idea how much it means to me. I hope you all have had a very good January and I hope February brings you lots and lots of love and happiness and health and wealth and just everything that you could ever ask for but yeah i can't wait to see you in february and there may or may not be a video this sunday it is oliver's birthday tomorrow as i'm filming this it's his birthday tomorrow so actually when you're watching this 
is Oliver's birthday today so I don't know if I'll be filming for the rest of the week but if not I will see you next Wednesday but if I somehow happen to film another video I will see you on Sunday but either way I will see you in my next video bye guys